Okay guys, now we're going to be putting in the front shock mounts for the swing arms. Once I had this all set up, I measured from that bar back down eight and three quarters. And you can see the two little marks. I then cut square tubing one by one, 0.095 wall thickness. And they are cut at five and one quarter. So I'm gonna be putting those right here, right at the marks. Okay. I can't really see this side mark, but I do have it lined up. And you can see that I have it going coming almost to this edge of the corner and almost to the edge over there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sharp meat, my sharpie and mark at an angle underneath there. I'm going to do this. So I'll mark underneath there and underneath this one and then cut those off. Okay? So I'm going to do that quick. Okay, so I've done that and what I did is I put the steel on, marked it, and then cut that cut the angle. Then what I did is I took that piece of steel, put it over on the table, angled it, put it on its side, and then put a 45 degree angle on it. So this bar will have a 45 degree angle on it this way too. I then took the plugs, or I took the uh, ends, these parts that I cut out on this on for the mounts on the shocks. I had those little square pieces, which are these sides here, and then I welded them into place. Got kind of a goofy gap right there though. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this cool off slightly. But I want the steel to be still a little warm and hot. So then I'm gonna put it on my homemade anvil here and go to town and try to pound that steel, those ends in slightly. I mean, I could probably fill up those gaps with weld, but I'm gonna to try to seal them off as much as I can. All right, well, got it done. At least this one. And I, uh, because the uh, end plates were so long, see how much of an excess I had? So I bent it over, I tacked them into place, bent it over, and, oh, hold on. Anyways, I cut off those ends, then took my grinder and grounded way at it. Uh, yeah, and then took the uh, sanding wheel to it. And yeah, nice and shiny. Now I'm gonna put it into place. And then I'll tack it into place. Yeah, but before I get, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do on that. Tack it into place, and yeah, okay. Then I'll have to figure out how, where my shock's gonna go, like that, somewhere, yeah. Cool, all right. All right, well, I just got that all welded up. And what I did for the first bracket there, after I welded this crossbar on here, I measured in two inches, made a mark with my Sharpie in the middle, and then welded the bracket centered onto that mark. So this bracket is not centered on the bar. See, and that's the body of the machine there. And that's the distance that I measured. Okay. I cut these two towers here, which will support uh which will support the steel across the top where the shocks will be mounted to where the mounts of the shocks will be at. They are four 
They're four and three quarters inches high. Long. So now, I have them tacked into place. Now, I need to figure out how long I need to make this bar up here. Got a little neodymium magnet sitting right here. six and five eighths. So, from the back of this bar to the edge of my bracket here, we're gonna set it up at six and five eighths. So, what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to measure from the edge of this bar over six and five eighths. And where's my sharpie? Six and five eighths from this bar. Now I need to cut a bar that is going to be twenty-two and seven eighths. Twenty-two and seven eighths. So let's do that now. 